So I'm all red because I just came from exercise. I went straight from exercise, had a quick shower, and now we're off to go meet Bianca from the Organic Hair Salon here in Sydney. She contacted us after she saw our shampoo and conditioner video. She said we all need to know about the toxic ingredients in hair dye. So we are going to go and see her and I'm going to get my hair done. Yay! We have park. Oh, look at my red's gone down though. All right, let's just do a really quick five minute. Doobie doos, doobie doos in the car. Now I look a little bit normal. <laughs> and here out the front of the chemist warehouse is all of the toxic stuff. Some surface wipes for your bathroom that never biodegrade and just end up in landfill. Oh, some domestos bleach and horrible stuff for our poor animals in the ocean. Hello. Mwah. Thank you so much for having us. How long have you been here? We have been here. So I took over the salon yeah. in December 2016. It's been established for about 12 years um, and I've just built it up. So, show me the process. This is, I've come to you with my lovely bits of grey coming yes. through. So, what do we do? <laughs> and so what was your story? What was your catalyst that I made you go, felt, oh? I fell into it by chance. Mm. I started working over in Terry Hills and I was taking up to six antihistamines a day. Like I was suffering severely with rhinitis. And one of my clients actually said to me, that's gonna kill you. So I did. Within a few weeks, I was feeling so much better. Within a few months, I was sort of in shock. I was like, I haven't taken the antihistamine in so long. Saving me money, it was saving my liver. I just felt better. Mm. And then it was a realization. I went back to another mainstream salon, started using all the ammonia in products mm. and all the other chemicals. And it all came flooding back to mm. me. Like I would smell the ammonia in my eyes would start to water, my nose would start to water, yeah. I would start to itch and my nose would be running and that's not a good look for anything. <laughs> that's no. right. <laughs> that's good. But this one's a lot drier. Do the set thing. <laughs> Some beautiful organic colour on there. And Elena is putting it all on film. <laughs> Can't even tell. Can't even see. Definitely, we all need to, so we can keep going at what we're doing. <laughs> Definitely. So we've just finished, and what do you think? What do you think of the hair? What do you think? And now, guess what? We have to go and pick up children and become a mum. So, just had a fabulous day with Bianca there at the Organic Hair Salon in Five Dog. She is a really, a truly inspirational, incredible, talented, knowledgeable lady. She taught me so much. She would tell stories of how people like, call her salon after searching on Google because they're going through um, chemotherapy or they've just been told by their doctor that they've got mercury poisoning. More and more she's getting calls from ladies who have got these big health problems and being told that they need to detox and get all of that stuff out of their routines and their lives and their environment. and. Colouring your hair is one of those things and she's the solution and she's been doing it for years and she knows she knows her ingredients and she does the research in the into the companies as well. 